Hello friends, and welcome back to Let's Play Colonization. Now that Penobscot has returned to its rightful owners, this frigate can stop blockading the bay. And all of these valuable artillery can be loaded. Eight. One, two, three, four, five. I'm not going to even attack these guys outside of Rono. I'm going for Santo Domingo. And I think one artillery is enough for Nobscot. Whoa. One. One artillery. Three, four. Two, three, four, five, six. And we have our colonist with tools. So he's going to go south and start building a road. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we'll talk to these Sioux. They train master tobacco planters. Tobacco planters and organ? <laughs> Alright, whatever. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And the Spanish are attempting to attack our uh Penobscot. Which is really stupid. Alright, the Cherokee have massacred more Dutch at Guadalupe. That's happened several times. Alright, we brought some horses to Roanoke. And I'll leave the rest of those horses alone. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whoa. Nine. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to unload all of these artillery. I'm not going to attack with artillery. I better get out of the way of this soldier. Make landfall. Land ho. This probably isn't going to go well, but I'll try it. Yeah! Our petty criminals have graduated to indentured servants because of their valor in battle. Speaking of valor and battle... Oh, come on. Eh, whatever. Price of rum has fallen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, great. <laughs> sure. And I don't really know what to do with the galleon. I'd better go to... to London. I'll just be a sentry right here for now. Make landfall. Alright, let's see if we can do something with Santo Domingo. Yeah, we can. Where did that Spaniard go? Here he is. Excellent. Alright, that's enough. Two, three. Fortify again. Start building a road. I've got some dragoons here, but I'm not sure if I should attack. Well, alright. Not sure who's going to win this one. The Spanish are! Now I'm sure who's going to win. All right, fine, I won't attack. One, two, three, four. And we've got more colonists for Knobscot. Look at all that food. More horses are ready at Plymouth. Great. 
Speaking of which, this guy needs muskets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And here's some more Sioux in, in California. And I'll just be a sentry right there. Oh yeah, these Spanish have made a big mistake by becoming a target. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whoop. Not sure what I just did there. Alright, we've got some silver miners here. Also, why don't we take one ton of tobacco. Did I already take tobacco? I might have already taken tobacco to to um, Plymouth. We have a teacher in Plymouth, but all the colonists already have specialty professions. Alright, let me see. I need a lumberjack. Oh, that's right, I've got a lumberjack. Alright, make him a colonist. Great. One, two, three. I see some Dutch. A Dutch merchantman. With a hundred horses. Well, that's one less Dutch merchantman. Alright, let's try another attack on Santo Domingo. Oh, no, not this time. We've got some dragoons here in Plymouth. I'm going to fortify them because Plymouth needs some kind of defense. The 2P are again trying to attack. Boston produced a schoolhouse. What Boston needs is tools and ore. Well, I don't really know what to build here. I'm just going to build an armory because... That's something we don't have yet. All right. Hopefully I can pull this off. One, two, three, four, five. All right, that's simple enough. I don't know where those muskets came from. I thought it was just horses. I like horses. Horse, rehorse this guy. Spring 1646. Yeah, that's right. You've been routed. Alright, that's enough for Spring 1646. Let's look at the Foreign Affairs Advisor. The Spanish only have two colonies left. And their military power is declining. Their naval power is still the same as ours, though. One, two, three. And a Spanish privateer is slipping around. Peter Stuvazen, Stuvazen joined the Congress. He's the guy here with the gold stomach. He looks kind of like Buddha, except his face is all wrong. And he allows the construction of the Custom House. The Custom House allows us to trade everything automatically without using ships, even if there's a boycott, even during the revolution. It is a very useful thing to have. This is why we did not want a tax rate, because we bit, we do pay taxes on things traded through the Custom House. I don't actually know if we're supposed to be able to trade things with the Custom House that are on boycott, but it works, so it's uh, about all I can say for sure. This guy will be a pioneer, because that's what he was meant to be. All right. Two, three, four. Hundred tools. Nice. One, two. Whoa. All right. And this privateer unloaded a couple of dragoons from Spain. Autumn, sixteen forty-six. I think I'd better attack these guys. There we go. Keep it up. 
Excellent. He's a criminal. There should be one more here. Well, that didn't go our way. I don't have any more units to spare, though. Alright, our lumberjack is in Roanoke, so I can stop using this carpenter as a lumberjack. This guy only gets nine lumber, though. And I may as well stick some... Well, no, I'll stick this guy in the town hall. We already have a newspaper here, but Roanoke is just so anti-rebellion. I'll get Dragoon here. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I don't want to end the turn next to those two B. They're up to no good. The Aztec have given us 73 food. The Aztec are pretty decent, unlike the two B. All right, let's look at the next member of Congress. Jacob Bugger. You know what? I just want Jacob Bugger. There are reasons for this, because if the king runs out of things to, for us to throw into the ocean, he'll just start raising the taxes arbitrarily. So I don't want that to happen. Jacob Fugger can postpone that. And Penobscot's build a lumber mill. Lumber mill. So why don't we build... And they have tools, too, so they can build anything. Why don't they build... A warehouse expansion. All right. More horses at Roanoke. Yeah, they need more horses. Who doesn't have tools? Well, Roanoke has tons of tools. Plymouth has tons of tools. Boston. Go to Boston. It's tools. I think we may have explored all of North America. In fact, all of America. These scouts are out of a job. I don't know if we reached every... every village, but... we went through quite a few of them. Spring 1647. Santo Domingo must fall. You! Join the cause! All right, you. Surrender. Well, that didn't work. One, two, three. And we've got more, another chance to actually get rid of these Spaniards. That didn't work. And the Dutch are attacking our privateer. That's bad. I don't know what to do with these scouts anymore. Why don't you go to Boston? The scouting business is over, pretty much. I'll take the horses and the cloth. I'll also attack this merchantman. Oh, damaged our frigate. That's too bad. Yeah! Our indentured servants are now free colonists. Attack Santo Domingo. And we've only got one piece of artillery left to attack. Let's just keep an eye on these colonists. And let's see, we don't have a schoolhouse here, so... I'm just going to have this guy... Oh, there's no skills in this town. Are there any skills in Boston? Fishermen. Alright, go to Boston. Are there any horses in Knobscott? Yeah. 
Not, th not enough, but there's some. Alright, the Tupi are helping us. 100 horses, 100 cloth. Well, the Dutch took back their... took back their... Uh, cargo. The Tupi have massacred a colonist at Santo Domingo. And now the Tupi are attacking us. Rum is ready at Roanoke. Wow. Alright. Excellent. Is this a master distiller? Yeah, he is. Let's go to Roanoke. Get that rum. Alright. Santo Domingo is ours. Let's... You know what? Santo Domingo. How do I do this? Ah, how do I... How do I... There's a way to do this. There's a way to rename the place. How, how do you do it? Santo Domingo. I don't remember how to rename the rename place. Colony advisor? No, he's not going to help me. Maybe I can't rename a town. I thought I could. I'm going to have to look that up. Because Santo Domingo is just about the worst name I can think of. Alright, so there are Indian converts in this place. There's no ore here. So this is going to be a strange town, I'm sure. Uh, Alright. This guy will train a fisherman somewhere. And this guy... And this guy will go fishing. Fisherman. Alright, that covers all the food needs. Now as for this... Oh gosh. Buy, buy food. These guys are no good working over here. Here, look at this. He doesn't produce any hammers. He can't work in the carpenter shop. He just can't do any of this. He, he would actually produce one hammer or one cigar or whatever per, per season, one ton of cigars, if this, this government was more efficient. But it's not, so, you know, what can you say? I really wish I knew how to rename this place. Santo Domingo. Well, I'd say it's fair that we've defeated the Spanish. Well, they're still fortified outside Roanoke, but, you know, can't do anything about that. There's a lot of tools over here in Roanoke. I can make some muskets with them. And we'll, we'll keep building this, this, this road. Santo Domingo. Yeah, sure, go to Santo Domingo. I really don't want it to be called Santo Domingo. Is there some way for me? I know there's a way to do it. I just don't remember how. Alright. This colonist needs horses. This colonist needs to build a road. And how. I don't know what's going on down there. Toopy! Yeah, I kind of hate the Toopy. I'm willing to join with you in killing the Toopy. But I'm not withdrawing my privateers. Pope is disturbed by the large English forces outside our Spanish colonies. There are none, although you are outside my colonies. Yes. We demand tribute. Boston has produced an armory. I don't even know what to produce in Boston anymore. A warehouse expansion, of course, even though we don't have the tools for it yet. 
Next time on Let's Play Colonization, we teach the Spanish a lesson. Actually, we could probably just destroy the Spanish in the New World. That sounds like a good, good idea. Next time.